the theme of this video is the internet is awesome and we live in a magical age. So if you decided you're a feminist, brilliant, but you don't know any other feminists, less brilliant. I'm going to focus on how you can find new feminist friends in two situations. The first being university and the second being not university. Any, any not university situation. I'm making this seemingly arbitrary distinction because at least from my experience, university is a very unique, odd, bubble-like sort of unreal existence that isn't really comparable to any other part of your life. When I went to university, I didn't know anyone else there, which was simultaneously brilliant and completely terrifying. And if you're going to university soon, I imagine you're also feeling the same, but the important thing to remember is so is everyone else, pretty much. Everyone's scared and everyone's looking for new friends. And there are three main areas where you can meet new people at university. Where you're living, on your course, and through sports and societies. Now I looked out at university and got put in first year accommodation with an awesome group of people. But say you're less lucky and you get put with people who you are find you have nothing in common with. That sucks. But at least it's probably only for a year until you can move out and live with people you actually choose to live with. In the meantime you can look for new friends on your course, or if they turn out to be rubbish as well, then you can definitely find new friends by signing up for sports clubs and societies. Look for feminist societies, LGBT societies, activist societies, anything where you think is going to be feminist friendly. And thanks to the magical modern age we live in, you can even start getting to know people before you get to university. In the weeks before going, look online for relevant student groups at your university and introduce yourself and get chatting to people. And then once you get there, you can arrange to meet up. And if you can't find anything, start your own. Put up a big feminist bat signal online because I can guarantee you won't be the only feminist looking for new friends at your university. Write a blog post, start a Facebook group, look for the university's freshers forums and start a new discussion board. Or even when you get to university, start a new society. So what about if you're not at university? Whether you're still at school, in a job, unemployed, working from home, a stay at home parent, or any number of things, you're probably stuck only ever seeing the same small group of people and your options for meeting new friends may feel quite limited. So once again, my advice is to hit the internet. This gives you two options. First, you can search for local feminist groups in real life where they, you can then go and meet new people and get chatting and make new friends. And you can find all sorts of feminist meetups and events online. Feminist conferences, feminist knitting circles, feminist cooking clubs, feminist pub quiz teams. Alternatively, you can just use the internet to find new online feminist friends. They may be someone who's halfway across the globe from you who you would never otherwise meet, but just having someone who you can share your thoughts with, who gets angry and upset and happy at the same things, can make a huge difference and just help you to feel less alone. I have loads of friends, feminist and non-feminist alike, that I met online that I would never have met otherwise, including Subi, who we recruited from the internet. It is still important to remember though to stay safe online, don't give out your personal details to someone you don't really know yet, and although meeting up with internet friends can be the most fun ever, make sure that if you do, if you're meeting someone for the first time, then you tell someone where you're going and you meet in a public place and yeah, just generally stay safe. <laughs> Even with amazing online feminist friends though, unfortunately it can still be difficult if your real life friends still don't understand why you're a feminist, or worse, if they know that things annoy you and keep doing them on purpose. You can try and explain to them, and maybe they'll listen. We had a great guest vlog from Kinks a while ago, which I'll link to in the description, which is basically about this exact situation. But you can't force someone to change their opinion, and it can become really draining really fast to be having the same arguments over and over again with people who you just want to hang out and have fun with. Even if you disagree though, and despite all your attempts, your friends still don't understand why you're a feminist, you can still stay friends if they respect your opinions and you can just steer clear of certain topics and just focus on the things that you have in common. But if someone continues to purposefully wind you up and purposefully upset you and make you angry because they think it's funny, then really, for the sake of your own emotional and mental health, you have to ask yourself whether you really want to stay friends with them. Because I've had so-called friends like that before, and really, if that's the way they act, they're not your friends. They're bullies. 
and you should treat them the same way you would treat any other bully. I'll put some links in the description to some useful links for finding like fem local feminist meetup groups. And also, if you want to meet me, Suvi and Emily next weekend in Bristol at the UK Feminista Summer School, I'll put some links to that as well. And if you have any extra tips to share on finding support or new feminist friends, or if you're looking for some new feminist friends to chat to, then let us know in the comments. And yeah, we can use this as a kind of use the Petty Dames to get everyone chatting and get everyone together. That's part of the point of this whole thing that we're doing. And as ever, hopefully, I'll see you next Monday. We'll see. Bye.